Relativism. As Grandma Ginger says, one of our grandsons claims to be Spider-Man about half the time, but we don't believe him. Okay, then why are we forced to believe the obviously false statement, I'm a woman trapped in a man's body? Because who owns the body determines what we can do with it. If God owns it, we ask him. But increasingly, folks are taking only the economic self-interested view and are claiming they can make of their bodies whatever the economic environment demands. It really is the nadir of relativism, which says, my idea that all ideas are equal is better than your idea. <laughs> okay, that makes no sense, at least to a rational economic decision maker. And that's what economists assume we are. But as Truman writes, quote, when the agreed upon rational basis for debate is gone, all that is left is emotional preference, end quote. He explains the philosophic underpinnings this way, quote again, with Nietzsche, we see clearly two pathologies of our present age receiving philosophical explication. The tendency to be suspicious of any claims to absolute moral truth and a rejection of religion as distasteful, end quote from Carl Truman. Look, when Abraham decided there was one God, the world changed and it's never gone back. Now his idea, or God's idea, was planted into an environment of multiple gods. They still exist. I'll do a podcast sometimes where, sometime when I review the book, God is Not One by Stephen Prothero. For brevity's sake today, uh, let me just summarize that the one God believers, monotheist as they're called, started with Judaism, which fathered the other two popular monos, Christianity and Islam. Now the world's five major religions are rounded out by two polytheist belief systems, Buddhism and Hinduism. So what Truman's helping us understand here is that expressive individualism is when each person is their own God. Well, people have tried that since Eve. <laughs> the serpent told her that God didn't want her to, have to eat the apple because then she would become God. So, tricky little guy, that serpent. And he never takes a day off. He's still encouraging people to try to become their own God. It never works. But people keep trying. 